da, 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 da. Hi folks, Anders here. Welcome to another video on Doug. Uh, today we are going to be trying to, trying to replace the seats. So these are the two that are currently in. I'll just walk around to the front so I can show you. So that is the original seat there, which has uh, seen better days. It's um, starting to fall to pieces. It's not very comfortable. Um, yeah, the twisty thing is kind of broken on it. Um, so yeah, so there's that one. Uh, this is the one that I replaced earlier uh, last year, which is, I think, out of a Ford Transit, but um, it's way, way too high. We fitted on the frame, absolutely fine, but it's too high. So, the plan is to replace these guys with, if I take you through, with these. <coughs> so I've got to take off the, uh, these are <coughs> captain chairs, I've got to take off the um, base off them. So I'm just starting to do that now. So I took the base off of one already and what I'm going to have to do is flatten these um, pieces out and then mount the rails off the existing ones onto there. This has got a the swivel built in whereas in the van the swivel is built into the actual base so I've got to do a lot of modification for it. Uh, yeah so the first job is to take off this um, extra weird mechanism which was attached to it. I don't know what it's for. I don't know where these seats are from but I've measured them they will fit absolutely fine. So yeah that's the plan. Right, seat is out. So as you can see, this is its own mechanism here for the tilt, like so. But the plan is to take this off and mount the other one, the other seats which have the tilt, well, the tilt mechanism built in right onto the box. So the next step is to actually take out this, which I have no idea 
There it goes, I think. Yes, there's a bolt underneath. There. So, time to get some spanners. Okay, folks, so, seat is out and the swivel mechanism is out. So, the plan is, we've already started working on the seat that's gonna go in. And I've took off the one lip, so there's a lip there, lip there, which I've just angle grinded off, which I'm gonna uh, file down and make sure it's not sharp. And the plan is just to put rails that are off the old seat, mount those to that, and then that to that. And this is my brother Kevin who's helping me today, and his YouTube channel is KS Blog Videos or Kevin Simon. Yeah, um, he does. He has that thing, which is a converted that. Bilingo. Is it a Bilingo? Peugeot partner. Peugeot partner converted into a micro camper. So yeah, follow his yeah. YouTube and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, so we're just going to cut that next piece off there, and we're going to start mounting it. Okay folks, so we have, well I have, cut the side pieces off there and we're just working out the alignment now for the rails. So the plan is this rail here will connect to one of the, well, will mount to there, those two rails will mount to there. And then these ones here will mount to the thing here. I'm just going to work out the alignments for them so we've still got the sliding mechanism built in. But so far it is going well. Happy days. So I was going up to the shed to go and get some metal on. Okay folks, so the seat is in. Kind of, it's not fixed at the moment, but it's in. We're just working out the position of where we need to drill the holes in the actual box frame there for it to be mounted. So the rails are on and they work really, really nicely. So yeah, it's just gonna be drilling some holes into here and then bolting that rail there, it slides out. So that bolts to there and on the other side as well, which gives us the sliding mechanism as well. So yeah, so we've just figuring out the holes for that. So see you in a bit. Oh, okay, so. Passenger seat is in. Tada! Um, and the swivel mechanism works. There you go. Like so. And then the backrest goes up. And it works on the slide as well, but only when somebody's sat in it. So, next step is we're going to do the driver's seat, which we weren't going to do today, but. Uh, seeing as this one's been relatively straightforward and we know what we're doing now, uh, we're going to do the driver's seat one as well. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so that seat is now in, as you can see. Looking good. I've took the seat belts out of it as well because um, it didn't need their ones. Uh, they are um, from a Nissan of some description um, because there was a label on the seat belt. Um, so yeah, so that's where the seats are originally from. I'm not sure what kind of Nissan I'd say, probably like an Elgrad or something like that. Like one of their big vans. Uh, yeah, so, and we are just taking the, um, I'll took the, took the driver's seat one out. So they take you around. There is a very knackered, very tatty driver's seat. And the swivel mechanism. Again, we don't need the swivel mechanism anymore because there's one built into the seat. There's a very knackered Kevin. Um, and we are just mounting the sliders on to the driver's side now, which should be quite straightforward to <laughs> do, <laughs> theoretically. So yeah, we, we, it's, it's going well. We're doing well. It's starting to rain a bit, but it's not too terrible. Um, yeah, happy days. Hi folks, we're on at day two now. Uh, we carried on yesterday trying to get the second seat in, but it was starting to get a bit dark and we we're both getting a bit knackered, so we left it. Um, so we're now putting the driver's side door, oh, our seat in. Uh, we had an issue, um, didn't actually realise, so we've mounted the one rail already, uh, but what we've actually realised is that the seat is off centre to the box, so when we put the seat in place, um, I was actually sitting 
offset to the steering wheel, which wouldn't have been the best thing. So what we've got to do now is modify these, take these out and move them, whereas it would have been about there. Mm. It's now got to be moved over to about there, so that the, I'm actually sitting central to the steering wheel, which is what we need, and also to give us extra clearance on the handbrake as well. So yeah, so the seat's all done with the, the rails all done on the bottom of it, so we're just gonna take these out and put them back on and move them over a bit and we should be having both seats in. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so <clears throat> rails have now been moved over and drilled and bolted in. Um, it is more central to the center console. Uh, so hopefully the alignment now with the steering wheel should be a little bit better. So we're just gonna attempt the first fitting and see if there's any adjustments needed for it. But yeah, looking good. Okay, so the, door, the, the seats are now in and done. And they look absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with them. So here's the driver's one and the passenger one. I'm just going to take the old seat belts uh, out of the these here because uh, they're redundant. I've got the actual proper seat belts here anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so really, really pleased. The seats do need a clean. Um, because they were in storage and they've gone a bit damp and mouldy, so I've got to clean them up a bit properly. I've got nice armrests on them, I've got a headrest on them, and the exciting bit, if I just put you down somewhere, or I'll just put you here, this is the exciting bit. See you properly, yep. Here he is. There we go. Look at that. How good does that look? It's a lot more space opened up here now as well, so can um, entertain more guests when we're on festivals and things like that if you want. Yeah, um, these ones do also. I just sort of back. They do also go all the way back, like so, if I need them to, which I'm not really going to be needing to, um, because, yeah, um, and the sliders work absolutely fine, it just all works really nicely. Oops, dropping my glasses. bit of a faff to do it like so slide out that. yeah how cool is that and they look absolutely lovely uh, i did a bit of googling last night as well and found out that they are from nissan elgrams um because on the seat belts it's got a nissan thing on there so 2003 so yeah look at those look at those Lovely, comfortable seats compared to the original ones. So we go and have a look at the side as well. How excellent are they? There is a redundant lever on them, which was would have been the slider for the original um, seats, which didn't come with these. Um, so. The driver's one, I did have a bit of an issue. Um, so <clears throat> the gap on the passenger one was 31 centimeters from hole to hole to where we drilled. But on the driver's side one, it wasn't 31 centimeters, it was slightly less, no, slightly more. So I had to redraw the holes. And it was a bit of a fiddle, but got there. And they just look really fabulous. So yeah. So that is new seats replaced. Um, the old seats I'm not going to keep. I don't really see the point in keeping them. Um, 
Um, uh, I have already posted onto the Talbot forums that I've upgraded the seats and somebody's asked me about the swivel mechanisms and he's buying them off me and I'm going to sell the original seats as well. Even though they're dated and very knackered, um, as in the fabric's all torn and gross on them, it's going to be better to um, sell them onto somebody that like use them because they are the original seats and I know some people do like all the original fixtures and fittings in these as well. For me it's more about comfort so hence why I put these ones in. So I'll sell those ones, I'll probably have about 20-30 quid for the pair if somebody wants to collect them, I don't know. Yeah, so that's it, that's another Doug Date video. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, Get any questions, comments, feedback. I know this video has been a bit all over the place because it's been done over the space of two days. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and all the likey stuff and all that. Uh, and yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to my brother's channel who's been featured in this video as well, uh, Kevin Simon, for his content and his take on this, um, uh, not so much a tutorial or a how-to guide, but just changing the seats in, in the video. Right, so see you in the next one. Thank you. Yeah.